Happiness. I love that quote, you never see motorbikes in the psychiatrist's car park. Riding might not be the key to happiness, but it certainly helps. Unlike money, we've all heard the saying, money can't buy happiness. But the problem is we live in our world that is constantly telling us we won't be happy till we've got the biggest house, the best car, and the coolest clothes. Well, can money buy happiness? Research shows that if you are poor, then money can buy happiness. But once you have enough to meet the basics of life, that's healthcare, a roof over your head, food and clothes, extra money makes very little difference to your happiness. What if you win millions of dollars in the lottery? No. Research shows that big winners have an initial increase in happiness, but within a year, their happiness levels are back to normal again. And get this, they've done the same studies on paralysis victims. At first, they are depressed, but within a year, their happiness levels are back to normal, even when they will never walk again. Why? Our life circumstances and situation usually have little effect on lasting happiness. In fact, research shows that things like winning the lottery or losing your ability to walk will only have a 10% effect on long-term happiness. Half the story is in our genes, which is why a depressed person who wins the lottery will just be a rich, depressed person. The really interesting thing is that our personal choices will make up 40% of our happiness. Do you choose to see the world as a miserable place that keeps fucking you over? Or do you just make the most out of life and choose to see the positive side? There are exceptions, of course, such as a serious case of clinical depression, which needs treatment, not just a positive frame of mind. But in most cases, we are largely responsible for our own happiness. So if money doesn't make us happy, what does? Relationships are probably the most important thing. Love the one you are with, spend time with your kids, make time to be with your friends and extended family. This leads into not being a self-centered dickhead. Live for others. Chasing your own personal happiness is a bit like chasing an orgasm. If you always focus on your own pleasure, then you risk becoming an egocentric wanker who doesn't give a shit about others. Focus on making others happy and your own happiness will sneak up on you from behind. Meaningful activity. Many of us hate our jobs, but slave away because we don't want to take the pay cut for a career that we would love. But if you live simply and stop chasing the almighty dollar, you can probably chase that dream job. And make time to get into hobbies you love. And of course, you can't do much better than ride a motorbike. The meaning of life. It doesn't have to be a religion or particular spiritual outlook, although research suggests this can help. It doesn't have to be all that deep and meaningful navel-gazing and introspection. It might just be deciding that family, friends and dirt bikes are your top priorities. Then, organise your life around that. Pleasure. Enjoy great food, warm baths, sex, a regular <laughs> massage, holidays, dirt riding, a beta cross trainer. <laughs> Things like this are the icing on the cake, but if you focus on your own pleasure exclusively, you will just become a self-focused prick, especially in the bedroom. Good try. Many people spend a lifetime working in jobs they hate to buy into a lifestyle that is meant to make them happy, but 
Of course it doesn't. Then, with death around the corner, they wonder why didn't they spend more time with the family? Or why didn't they do the things they loved? When you have a quiet moment, see if your life is heading in the direction you want. As George Bernard Shaw once said, we don't stop playing because we grow old, we grow old because we stop playing.